Sure, that sounds like more target practice than a good day in the shooting gallery. Well, I must say it couldn't happen to more deserving people. And him trying to kill Dick Tracy and willing to pay a fifty thousand dollars worth of too. Yes, it's their own fault. They should know better than to start anything with Dick Tracy. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Yes, sir. You are. You are. And well, well, Dick Tracy in person. <laughs> well, Sam, you know it was a pleasure to see you again, all in one piece. Sure, you're a sight for four eyes. Well, Murphy, you have no idea how good it is to be back here. And you have no idea how good it is to see you back home. Oh, and speaking of home, how's Tess? Well, she was having a good cry when I left her. Now, isn't that just like a woman? Yeah, indeed it is. It is. <laughs> yeah, they cry when they're angry, and they cry when they're sad, and they cry when they're happy, but... <laughs> Bless their darling heart, they're wonderful all the time. <laughs> That's right, Murphy. I wouldn't trade Tess for anybody else in the whole wide world. But say, Mr. Tracy, how does Mrs. Tracy feel about the danger of your job here? Well, she understands perfectly that my whole life is a fight against crime. And in spite of the danger, she keeps telling me this is where I should be. Well, she's a smart woman, Tracy. It's true that your place is right here behind this desk, making life unsafe for all criminals. Sam, there's been a tremendous number of car thefts in this town. Oh, well, I know it. The chief's been on our necks. Yes, he has made it rather difficult, hasn't he? Uh, hey, what's this map? Well, every time there's been an automobile theft in the past few weeks, I've put a pin in this map. Why? Well, as you know by now, all crime fits into a pattern. If enough pieces fall into place, we know what the design is. And right now, I think it's time we did something about these car thieves. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe I better carry that bag. It's pretty valuable stuff in there. We don't want Ruff to drop it and spoil anything. Yeah, maybe you're right, Joe. You be careful, too. Don't worry. A little bag like this is worth $50,000 cash anywhere in the U.S. $50,000? It's worth more than that, and you know it. Well, maybe. We'll talk about it in the office. Sit down. All right, you guys have got me and you got the bag. What do you expect me to do now? And you called me from Detroit and told me what was in that bag. You told me the price was 25 grand. Did I? Don't play tricks. You told me 25 grand, didn't you? That was for the stuff in the bag. Don't forget the cost of the bag in my trip out here from Detroit. That doubles the cost. Look, look. You make a deal with me, you don't back down, see? If and when you and I come to an agreement about something, you don't back out. Understand? After being such a pig, you get nothing. Say, this looks like the real thing. Yes, indeed. This looks like it, all right. Where'd you get this stuff, Ruff? That set of tools has been carefully hidden, wrapped in oil for two and a half years. My brother was killed when he stole it. Well, that's enough of that. Well, where's my dough? Stick around. I'll give you an IOU. Doc, it didn't take you long to pick up this one. Yeah, some jerk with his car parked with the door unlocked. It was a cinch. Well, good. Hijack's got an order for four of these downtown. I know. And I know what colors he wants, too. So to save time, I'm picking them out by color. Yeah, good. When do we start changing the numbers on them? You better go get the number book so we can see about changing this one. Well, why don't you do some work around here so you can earn your keep? Listen to me, Hijack. I was telling Doak, and I'm telling you. I'm tired of getting pushed around. I want some dough. I haven't even got the price of a pack of cigarettes. Well, that's too bad. Here, here's some money. I get back to work and stop bothering me. What do you think you're doing? Hello, Jones. This is Look, I'll have those cars down to your place on this afternoon. Yeah, I got to fix like this one. I got to lift the colors, too. Yeah. Well, look. How about doing tag? All right, I'll see you then. Come on. Ruff. You call me? Third day I called you. Is this car ready? All except one. Don't start picking it up now. Okay. 
tell us really for this afternoon. You better have those colors right in the right body style, too. Then we're going to snap the numbers on. You've been mighty anxious to get your hands back on those tools, aren't you? Well, they're mine, ain't they? Only as long as you had them. And don't you worry, I'll get them back. Over my dead body. If that's the way you want it, I'll go along with you. And the sooner the better. <laughs> Now, Jack, I'm going to beat your brains out with this branch if you don't open that safe and give me back my key. You can drop that look. Let me tell you something. I want you to remember. This chance I get, I'm going to kill you. I don't think you will. Let's get your hands on the combination of that safe and your hands back in those tools. Besides, I think you're too yellow to kill anybody. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how'd you make up? Yeah, I got you a car. You got six to go now. Right year, right model and everything. Oh, that's great. Got any trouble? Yeah. This time I've had any trouble for weeks. What happened? Well, the guy walked away from his car. He left it on a rock. And I hopped in to drive it away. It stalled. Go on. Well, the guy came back. Before I could get it started, he yelled at me. So I shot him. He shot him. You kill him? Nah. I only wound him in the arm. You know what that means, don't you? No. But what? Well, I'll say to the cop. Well, who cares? He won't be able to prove anything. Pardon me. You just get Tracy's office. Yes. Sure, Mr. Tracy. Anything we can do for you? My name is Roy. I was just set up here to talk to you about my automobile being stolen. And, well, first, I'd like to ask you about your arm. I was shot by the man who stole my car. How long did that happen? Within the last hour. And would you mind taking a look at this map and telling us in what section of town it happened? There. Right there. A man in overalls wearing a cap got into my car. Tried to stall him from the motor stall. I had to go back to my car for something I forgot. So I could stop him and he shot me. Hmm. Looking to learn skills. I know. I still want my car back. Oh, well, Sam, that's better than we better work fast. Mr. Rowe, would you mind sitting down for a moment? We're going to take you with us to identify your car. Now, Sam, as I was saying, this cluster of pins representing the outer steps in the past few weeks is all localized in one section of town. Oh? Well, obviously, somewhere in this area is the headquarters of the car stealing room. Oh, you got our men checking the garages and warehouses? No. Yeah. The best place in a big city to hide a car is with other cars. Well, that would be in garages and warehouses. Okay. Now, on our list, we only have four possibilities. If we drive fast and Mr. Rowland here can identify his car before they change the motor number, they'll repaint it, we can break his case wide open. Hey, let's get going. Let's get going. Thank you, Sam. Okay, hi, Jack. How'd you do on changing those numbers? Oh, well, man, each year the greatest thing that's out of Detroit. Uh, rough dope will give you the new numbers. You got the work. Dope, I want you to watch this very closely because uh, if he refuses to work with us, you're going to have to do his job. Hi, Jack. It'll be a pleasure. I got half a minute to drop this stuff and break it. 
You go right ahead. Just a few seconds after that bag drops, and the four you follow to the left. Okay, okay. Now look, this is the new engine number to match the registration papers, and this is the new out of body serial number. So, let's see how you operate the tool. Now these are the dials you set the numbers with. This is the way it works. Hey, that's pretty interesting. Hey, what's the thing in that car? It might not be dry yet. Oh, don't worry, Hijack. I gave it the full infrared treatment, and then I went over it with a hand lash. Yeah, that's great. tools are okay. I think after I watch Ruff a while, I'll be able to use them myself. Yeah, we gotta have somebody around who can use them. Just in case Ruff gets mad and decides to quit. Don't worry, I'm not leaving until I get some dough. We carried out of your feet first. I'm gonna put these in the safe. I hope you two will be very happy. Don't you think I'm getting a raw deal on this whole thing? Listen, Rob, the way I got it figured out is this. If you weren't smart enough not to get yourself in a position so a couple of guys could strong arm you and take away your die sinking tool, then it's entirely your own fault. Yeah, I guess you're right. What do you get out of this deal? You must have it figured out by now. I work for Hijack, and I don't care who owns the tool. You or Hijack, just as long as I get my dough every week. You know how to set up work? Sure. I know how the hot cars are picked up, and I know how they're sold in lots. I know everybody up and down the line that Hijack deals with. Look, I know how to work those die sinking tools, and I know all there is to know about etching acids. Why don't we make a deal? You mean you want me to double-cross Hijack? Oh, I wouldn't put it that way. Look at it like this. If you and I ran this operation, we could split the profits. You could handle the business end, and I could take care of the number changing. We could expand. Put on a couple of extra guys to pick up the hot car. You may have something there. Well, if you and I can get that safe combination, we can knock off hijack any time we want. The more I listen to you, the better it sounds. Well, if we can't get the uh, safe combination, then we'll both jump hijack the next time the tools are out. Yeah, that's a better idea. But be careful and don't damage those tools. All right, boys, ask me for the combination. What's what's the matter, Hijack? Shut up. I'm trying to figure out which one of you guys to let have it first. But if I miss, I don't want to hit that car. Now, wait a minute, Hijack. You're making a mistake. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. All right, you double crossers. That was the sound of shots. Yeah, could have been an automobile backfiring. After all, it is a garage. We won't take any chances anyway. If you gentlemen don't mind, I'll just wait out here a while. All right. Come on, Sam. Anybody in here? Who is it? It's crazy. Go in the office. I'll be there in a minute. We'll have to settle this later. It's Tracy. Can we call it truce? Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it truce. I didn't want any part of this. I wasn't on Ruff's side. What started the whole thing? I was just talking to Ruff. You misunderstood. Ruff, you come with me. We'll hide in a secret panel while Doak goes in and talks to Tracy and pretends like he owns the place. Okay. And Doak, if anybody asks any questions, you own the place. Right. Come on. Dick 
quick, Tracy. Yes? I didn't hear you come into the garage. We had a motor running and it kept backfiring. It made an awful lot of noise. I told you that was a backfire of an auto. Well, what can I do for you gentlemen? Uh, what's your name? My name is Doak. I own the garage. Is there something you want? Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions, such as your garage capacity, uh, do you repair cars, and whether you sell automobiles. Well, what are you leading up to? Well, we had a big wave of automobile thefts lately. Well, certainly you don't suspect me, do you? We don't suspect anyone in particular. We're just checking on all garages. Do you mind if we have a look around? Why, certainly not. Is there anything specific that you'd like to see? No, no, we just wanted to look around. Well, all my books and records are at my accountant's office. That is, if there's anything in them that you'd like to see. No, that won't be necessary. We can see those later. Well, let's go. All right. What a setup you got here. Well, it isn't a very fancy place, but it took me quite a few years to build it up even to this. Yeah, it looks all right. It'll never make me a very rich man, but I like it. This is a new paint job, isn't it? Did you do this here? Well, I wouldn't know for sure. It looks like a new paint job. The car came in yesterday for motor overhaul. You do paint work, don't you? Well, only if we have to. It's more bother than it's worth. Our specialty is motor work. I see. Well, Sam, why don't you call Mr. Rones in? Oh, Mr. Rohn, would you step inside, please? Doak, this is Mr. Rohn. How do you do? Oh, why, why do you keep looking at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Rohn, does this look like your car? Well, it's the same make and the same model. See, Mr. Rohn was shot a couple of hours ago and his car was stolen. Well, if there's any question in your mind at all, why don't you look at the engine serial number? No, I'd rather not bother you men. This isn't my car, I can tell. It's a different color. You men walked in here looking for a stolen car. And so I know there'll be no suspicions. Why don't you take a look at the engine serial numbers? That won't be necessary, really, at once. Oh, Mr. Rones, go ahead. Here, you can check them against these serial numbers. Yes, do that. No, Mr. Tracy, I'm afraid this is not the same car. See, I told you. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. What is it, Mr. Rones? I painted my initials in white paint on top of the battery in the car. I'm quite certain I saw a flash of white on top of the battery just now. Don't be ridiculous. Now touch that hood. Let Mr. Rones take another look. That's enough of this nonsense. All right, you copper stand right where you are. I recognize you now, Mr. Tracy. That man with the gun is the same one who shot me this afternoon. You talk too much. This may be a trick. Yeah. Well, Sam, I got it. Yeah, it's a good thing you did. That last bullet missed me by about that much. Yes, it was a pretty close call. Yeah, well, he deserved what he got. This is the fellow that shot Mr. Rones. I guarantee you he won't shoot anyone else. Oh, and by the way, thanks for getting him just when you did. Now, Sam, you know I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Even though Mr. Rowan's car was stolen, looks like he's going to get a brand new paint job. Oh, yes, to see that all the stolen cars are returned to their rightful owner. I'll get on it right away. Well, Sam, this might be the end of this car stealing ring, but I'm not sure. Well, if it isn't, it will be when you get through with them. Whenever you are on the trail of criminals, they end up one of two ways, either in jail or in the mall. Anybody that breaks the law has to pay for the wrong they've done. 